Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's A Fall Man, and I'm bringing kind of a vlog video for you guys today. I haven't been shooting any videos. I've been, I haven't even been building anything. I've just been parting out Lego, adding it to my Bricklink store. If you guys didn't see my crazy haul that I did a couple hauls back, I managed to find probably two more hauls just like that, just crazy hauls. And so I've been parting those out. I think I did like 18 of the uh, Avengers Tower and just like crazy amounts, uh, more than I've ever done before. So I've been, I've been focused on that, so I haven't been over here. But I did come over here the last couple days and replace my fluorescent lights with LEDs. So I wanted to show you that. Now, if you don't know, uh, this is something I learned back from the day from Brixar. Fluorescent lights over time will fade your Lego. Now, it might take years, but you know what? My Lego City ain't going nowhere. It's going to be here. Uh, and I, most of the time when I'm not out here, I say all the time when I'm not out here, I keep the lights off. So it's probably not that huge of a deal, but I just wanted to make the switch. So I went out and got some four foot, I think you can get a pack of two. I got them at Menards for like 20 bucks. But then when I hooked them up, like my ballast burned out or something, I ended up having to go get two whole new things. They, they're not that expensive, like 14 bucks a piece. And then the bulbs, the LEDs. But let me tell you, it's so much brighter out here. I don't know if you can tell on the video. Probably not, but in person, it just makes the whole room light up. Uh, I love it. I'm just so happy. And another thing I did was I wired it so that they both will turn on and off with that switch. Uh, prior to this, I just had like the first one. I like cut the wire. It was a plug-in and just wired it to that. And then later when I moved the wall, if you guys don't know, my Lego room used to be about half the size. There used to be a wall right there where that blue and white paint is. That's where I knocked down the wall to make the city bigger back in the day. So I added another light and so it wasn't hooked up. So now it's, boom, both hooked up here. So we can turn it off and then turn it back on. Sorry if I blinded you. So that's pretty cool. You still, I still got the pull strings too. I just want to shut one off for some reason. Uh, but I'm very happy with that. Hopefully my <laughs> Lego will not fade away and turn into nastiness over time. Hopefully that will buy me some time. Uh, I think it's really a lot, you know, your Lego will fade in the sun. But, you know, I keep my stuff out of the sun for the most part. I do have my big fig. He's built in my living room with some other stuff on display in there. But they don't get a lot of sun in there. I haven't done anything really to the city as you can see i did get it all dusty and uh, nasty whenever i was changing out those lights so i came out here vacuumed i'm gonna have to do a little bit more cleaning uh, i've been reading your all's comments uh, about different suggestions i know some people said this looks too high i mean it's a mixed mode a lot of people like this and i i love it uh, but i was thinking about lowering it a little bit just mainly to free up those supports because right now i'm using two supports so I was thinking about getting some 2x4 black bricks, which I don't have any. Uh, getting some of those, and then just maybe using one support, maybe like three bricks. Just lower it a little bit. That way maybe I could just bring it around, give me the enough supports to do that. And then I was also thinking, I think somebody suggested this, just cutting it through like where there's a lower building. Just something like that. Just cut through, run it around right top of the buildings. Uh, maybe even like the Gold Rush shop where we buy gold and uh, the lego store some you know, those buildings that are smaller you know you could just run it right over top of something like that so that's kind of what i'm thinking uh, whenever i get the time to get out here and do anything i did pick up the uh bat cave i don't think i, I didn't do a video on that but uh, i want to build it but i just want to find somewhere to put it so i'm just thinking about maybe putting it inside there uh, probably move all these mini figs that way you got the mirrors behind it so you can see it from both sides and won't be so dusty automatically i don't want to build it and have nowhere to put it uh, i did make another one of these shadow boxes if you didn't see my batman one i did but i made a superman one too which the reflection is this terrible i'm gonna get look at one right there uh, it's basically just a mosaic of the superman symbol which i just saw an image on google and then Put the Superman in there. Mardi Gras man reminded me about old man Superman. Got him in there. You can't even see it. it looks so the reflection's terrible. Uh, 
what else can I talk about? I did get the Mini Cooper. Here's my pink insulation behind that black curtain stone over there. It looks so gross. I got the Mini Cooper. I got the back cave. I still got the brick bank. Uh, so I got all that to build. But like I said, guys, I've been just so crazy working over on the other side. I'm really getting tired of the Bricklink store as far as as much time as I've been putting into it the last few days. You know, I think I'm up to about 170,000 pieces. Uh, so I want to just get done with what I have and then just sit back and let it sell for a little bit because I am completely out of room over there. I'll have to do a, a room tour of the Bricklink store eventually, but I just want to do something. Let you guys know I'm still here. I'm still alive. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you haven't seen my Lego City before, I'll put a link in the description up in the cards to my last city tour. Check it out. Let me know what you think. If you do need anything from my Bricklink store, which is right over there, you can kind of see it. Please check uh, the link in the description of this video. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you think. Hit the thumbs up. See you in the next video. Oh, don't forget. Go out and get you some LEDs so you don't fade away your Lego. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.